Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today we're going to be playing around with some new products. I've had the pleasure of being sent a PR box from Sister Cosmetics. And we're going to kind of dive in and do a full face using their brand. So if you want to see my opinions on the product and the look that I come up with, keep on watching. guys I just want to put a disclaimer out there that even though sister cosmetics sent me these products in PR they did not pay me to um, say positive things about their brand or about the products I'm about to try all opinions are my own and I will only bring you guys facts and honesty when it comes to if I like or dislike a product so I just want to put that out there before we get started so just so you guys know, Sister Cosmetics is a cruelty-free and a non-GMO makeup brand. Alright, so the first thing we're going to get into is brows. So they did send me their brow perfecting pencil in the color charcoal. So we're going to use that to fill in these puppies right here. And this is what the pencil looked like. I already took off the top and the bottom. But it does have that triangular tip. And it does have a spoolie. Alright, so my first impressions of the formula of this pencil is that it's a very creamy um, consistency. So if you're someone who has oily skin, I definitely recommend you uh, setting this pencil with either like a clear brow gel or a powder. Because I can definitely see it moving around on you throughout the day. With that being said, because it was such a creamy consistency, it was actually pretty easy to use. And it was very pigmented. Uh, so that was really nice. As far as the color, it is very, very dark. Which is fine for me because I have black hair. So the next thing I'm going in is with the Itch U Skin Perfecting HD Concealer. I've actually already used this concealer in another video, which I will link. Um, but my opinions on this concealer is still exactly the same. It's a medium coverage concealer. It's a very thin formula. So if you want a natural concealer, this is going to be the one for you. But if you're someone who struggles with a lot of hyperpigmentation or discoloration, I just recommend you doing a color corrector first before applying this concealer because I don't necessarily think this concealer is going to cover um, really pigmented spots on your face. I really do like it for carving out my brows and doing my cut creases, but as far as covering up a lot of pigmentation, uh, just color correct first. I'm also, of course, using it as my eyeshadow base for today. So that is what you see me doing here. Alright, now I'm going in with the Itch You Skin Perfecting Finishing Powder. It is a white translucent setting powder. And I'm just going in and I'm setting my eyelids as well as my eyebrows. This is what I talk about when I say set your brows. Um, this is a pro tip. If you don't have like a like clear brow gel but you want to make sure your brows stay all day, set them with the translucent setting powder. And then I just run my spoolie through it to kind of get rid of some of that white excess powder. I'm just going to take some scotch tape now and I am just going to place that on um, my cheekbones just so I can get a really sharp line with my eyeshadow for today. Alright, next thing I'm going to use is their eyeshadow palette in Sunkissed. This is their warm tone palette. And first thing I did was pick up that transition shade on a blending brush. And as you see when I applied it, it didn't give me any pigmentation whatsoever. And that could be for a couple of reasons. One, it's probably because it's too close to my skin tone. But um, I didn't get any color payoff from that shade. So then I decided to go to the next deepest matte shade in the palette with a fluffy blending brush and that one 
um, was definitely more pigmented. I did have to dip my brush in the palette a couple of times to get my desired level of pigmentation. But overall, the shade wasn't hard to blend. It is a little powdery, um, but I mean, for the price, that's not a deal breaker for me. So these shadows do produce a lot of kick up in the pan. So just be mindful of that. And then I went in with this deeper shade, which is the darker shade in the palette. And I actually first took it on a really lightly dense uh, crease brush um, to apply the color. But I realized that the first brush that I used wasn't actually picking up the color very well. So in a moment, you're going to see that the brush actually changed. And I um, picked up a bigger, more densely packed um, blending brush. And the color payoff was a lot better just because of the way the brush was picking up the color. So I definitely recommend using something um, more fluffier with more bristles. You'll get a better color payoff. Alright, so now I am just using the Itch You um, High Definition Concealer. And I'm using that to cut my crease. Um, I have shown how to do a cut crease before in other videos, but if you guys would like a dedicated video on how to cut your crease for hooded eyes, just like this video and leave a comment down below, just so I know that's something that you guys want to see from me. Alright, so now you see me picking back up that blending brush, and I'm just kind of um, blending out that harsh edge of the concealer, just so my cut crease can look more seamless. So that's what you see me doing here. And now I'm going in with the Sister Cosmetics Single Eyeshadow in the color uh, Peach Peachy Frost. So I really love this color. And I am packing that on my lid with the Makeup Shack T69 Silicone Brush. This is actually my first time using this brush. And it's specifically made for shimmers and glitters. And it just applied this color beautifully. This color was super pigmented on its own. But me being the extra little soul that I am, I wanted to see, one, if this shadow could foil, and two, how this brush would apply a shadow that I'm trying to foil and it just took this shadow from like 10 to 100 like it just started to look amazing and I would definitely recommend these single shadows from sister cosmetics to anyone they are so pigmented it's amazing I don't know if you guys can tell how glistening my eyelids are right now So now I'm picking up their Eye Contour Precision Liquid Liner in the color black. And I um, really like the formula of this eyeliner. I'm someone who suffers from really watery eyes. And it didn't move the whole time I was wearing it. It stayed in place. It didn't run or anything. With that being said, I do not like the tip of this particular eyeliner I think it's very stiff and maybe if I use it after a while it will kind of become more flexible but the tip is very stiff so with my hooded eye I did find it a little difficult to create a really sharp wing because the felt was so stiff but the formula is amazing I wish it came in like a brush tip because this would that would just elevate this eyeliner to like a whole nother level of greatness. But I mean, I was able to get a beautiful wing using it. I just wish the tip wasn't as stiff. So I am now just removing my tape and we're going to get into some complexion work right now. All right. So for the most part, the eyes are done. And now we're going to go into complexion. Um, I was sent three of their cushion, um, BB cushion skin perfecting foundations. I got the color medium, deep, and then mocha. I already started that mocha is going to be too dark for me. So 
it's either going to be between medium and deep. So let's open these up and see which color is actually going to be the one that matches my skin tone. So this is the component that it's in. It's in a black component and it does have the, the little cushion to apply. And then it looks just like this and it has the, the seal like any other um, cushion foundation would. And this is what medium looks like. So we're going to go in and see. Is medium? Jeez. So that's medium. And I actually think that that's a a really good color match for me. I don't know how it's picking up on camera. But that's medium. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see deep which is supposed to be a little darker than this mocha is definitely going to be too dark it's definitely not mocha so let's go with deep i'm curious to see what deep looks like Ooh. okay so i am definitely medium in this brand so this is deep So this is deep and this is medium. So I'm definitely not, definitely not deep. So we're gonna go with the color medium to do my face. So now I'm going in with the Itch You Skin Smoothing Primer and this is their hydrating one. And it's a very silicone-y kind of primer. It reminds me of the Smashbox one. And it is very hydrating. So their claims on being a hydrating primer is definitely true. I definitely felt extremely moisturized. And my skin did not feel dry after putting this on. And like we discovered, I am the color medium in their BB Cushion uh, foundation. Which is very interesting because I am not a medium in any other brand ever. So that just shows that this brand runs deep. So just remember that when you order it, that this brand runs deep. So I decided to do half my face using the actual pad that came with the cushion foundation. And then the other side of my face, I'm going to use a different tool to see if I get different results. So that's what you see me doing here. I am just applying the foundation using their actual pad that came with the um, component. So after finishing half my face, this foundation is definitely a dewy, medium coverage foundation. So I decided to pick up my Moda Cosmetics toothbrush brush and apply the other half of my face with this to see if I get any difference in like coverage or spreadability so that's what you see me doing here and to be honest in my opinion I definitely think it was easier to blend out the foundation with the brush versus the pad that came with the component but that's just my personal uh, preference I'm someone who likes using brushes for my foundation and I also think it gave me a little bit more coverage. It's still a medium coverage, but I definitely think it's more buildable. So now I'm going in with their bronze and shade duo stick. And this one is in the color deep. And I'm using the uh, bronzer side to just do a quick little cream contour. I actually really like the color of their cream contour stick because it's not too red. Uh, I really hate it when cream contours have a lot of red in them because it just doesn't match with my particular undertone. This has just a smidge of red and um, it leans like red neutral so I was able to make it work for my golden undertone. And I'm just using a smaller toothbrush brush from Moda to blend that out. And that's what you see me doing here. 
It's just blending that around the perimeter of my face, my cheekbone, and my chin area. Just to bring some warmth. I did go in with the larger brush just to help me out with blending. So that's what you see me doing here. And then once I got that blended out sufficiently, I went back in with that same concealer that I've been using this whole time. And I'm using that to highlight um, my face, so under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. And I'm just blending that out right now. And I believe that's a Morphe M173 brush that I'm using to blend out that concealer. It's been one of my favorite brushes recently for concealer work. So that's just what you see me doing here. Because this is such a thin consistency, I wouldn't actually recommend using like a beauty sponge because it absorbs product. And if you want more of a full coverage or a fuller coverage using a brush is going to be your best bet. But if you want something a little bit more natural, then you can definitely go in with a sponge um, to help blend that out. But it will share it out. So it just depends on the look you want to achieve. This concealer, luckily in that case, is very versatile. So now I'm going back in with that um, finishing powder. And I'm just taking a disposable sponge and I'm setting my face. And this is when I realized that I really love this powder. I'm someone who stares away from white powders because they scare me. I don't want to look ashy or ghostly. So I tend to use a powder that has more of a yellow or a beigey kind of undertone. So this powder being a white powder was definitely a surprise, a very pleasant one at that. So because I felt so comfortable with the powder, I decided to really pack it on and really bake with it. So it is very finely milled and very soft. And I even decided to take that translucent powder and set the rest of my face with it. So that just shows how nice and blendable this powder really is. That I was able to set my entire face using it and I didn't get any like cast off or ashy face or anything like that. So now I'm going in with their Half Moon Blush Duo and I'm actually picking up that darker blush and I'm using it as a bronzer. Um, and it actually worked really good for my skin tone as a bronzer. So I did pick it up at first with this really tiny brush. But then I decided to change it to more of a fluffier brush just to help me blend it out. And it worked beautifully. I was really impressed. It is a little bit on the red side. But other than that, it, it was very beautiful as a bronzer. And then I'm going in with the uh, actual more red side of the blush duo. And I've already used this before in another video. And my advice is still the same. It's very pigmented. Go in with a very light hand. Now I'm going to pick up their eyeliners. And they're their Ultra Defined Gel Eyeliners. And I have two colors, Ultra Black and Turquoise. But I ultimately decided to use the turquoise color, and I'm putting that on my waterline. I really do like the formula of this liner because it didn't move all day. I didn't have any, like, disappearing of the color or it bunching up in my tear duct. So it definitely stayed in place. Uh, and I definitely think it's a beautiful uh, color turquoise. And it gave this eye look just enough pop without it being overbearing. Now I'm going back in with that darker shade in the palette on a really tiny, flat detailer brush. And I'm just smoking out my lower lash line. So that's just what you see me doing here, is smoking out that lower lash line. And if you can tell that turquoise color stayed in place the entire time. So now I'm actually setting my face with the Itch You Setting Spray before I go in with their Lit and Glow Luminating Powder. 
The reason why I set my face first is because this is a very natural kind of highlighting palette. So I wanted my highlight to pop a little bit more. And that's actually a pro tip. If you set your face and then add your highlight, your highlight will be more blinding even if the powder itself is more um, natural. So I'm just highlighting the high points of my face, which is my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my um, bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my tear duct. Uh, so just my typical places where I would like to place highlighter. So then I went in with their Dazzle Lash Long Lash Mascara. And that's the brush tip. And I went and I put a few coats on my lashes because I'm not someone who typically wears false lashes every day. I only wear them for special occasions and I mean real special. So my opinions of this mascara, I definitely think that it spaced out my lashes very well. And I definitely think that it helped my lashes kind of stand up. So if you're someone who suffers from like having a uh, short lashes and you want your lashes to seem longer and more spread out this is a great uh mascara for you i don't think it gave me any volume and as far as curl my lashes are naturally curly so i didn't really see any improvement on that end but it definitely gave me length and it helps uh kind of keep my lashes spread out and not clumping together so now I'm going in with their lip liner in the color Earthy Brown. And these lip liners are really nice. They're super creamy and really pigmented. They do not tug on your lips. They apply really nicely. And I definitely think it helped with feathering. So I would definitely recommend these lip liners. And after I apply the lip liners, I'm going to go in with two of their sexy lip paints. The first one that you see is Deity Goddess, and that's going to be my base color, and it's beautiful. And then after that, I did take their Metal Pink Pearl, which is one of their metallic lip paints, and I just plopped that in the middle of my lip as a highlight. And last but not least, I just take their Itch You Setting Spray, and I set my face to keep my makeup locked in, and I'm done. Alright guys, so this is the final look using Only Sister Cosmetics. So my top five products that I know for certain 100% is probably going to stay in rotation and I'm going to use is going to be the Itch You Finishing Powder. This is a surprise favorite from this video. Really like it. If you get it, definitely pick it up. Yes. The second one is going to be the Itch You Setting Spray. This is so good. It's so nice. Like, I'm tripping over how good this is. I really enjoyed this setting spray. Um, so this is definitely going to be one I'm going to continue to use. Third is going to be the lip paint. Um, this The color is beautiful. The formula is amazing. I really do enjoy it. I really do love it. I think it makes my lips look fantastic. I'm really impressed with this and I need to pick up other shades because this is such a good lip product. So next one's the lip liners. They are super pigmented. They are really creamy. They go on the lips really nicely. They're comfortable and they are just a very nice consistency and formula. And I really like them. So th these are definitely going to stay in the rotation. And then last but certainly not least, I actually kind of have a tie. Um, so we're just going to tie these. And the tie is between the single eyeshadow in Peachy Frost and then the eyeliner in Turquoise. I really did enjoy the formula of the turquoise eyeliner. Even though it wasn't as turquoise as I thought it was going to be, the formula is really nice and the color is still very beautiful. Um, but the Peachy Frost was a beautiful shimmer on the lid. It was so beautiful. It was easy to work with. And then using it with my um, Makeup Shack Silicone Sponge, which is the T69, <sighs> amazing it just applied so easily so those two are gonna tie for my fifth place 
So those are my top five products that I definitely think if you can get your hands on anything, get your hands on those. But overall as a brand, I definitely like Sister Cosmetics and I like the products that they have created. Um, I actually enjoyed everything for the most part. I only had one thing that I personally would probably say wasn't my favorite and that would probably be the eyeshadow palette and that's just a personal preference if you love their eyeshadow formula then continue to use it i personally it's not my favorite formula it does get the job done you can get a beautiful look out of it i just had to work with it a little bit more so that was the only thing that kind of gave me some trouble but i was still able to work with it but other than that, everything else was very nice and it worked beautifully. And I definitely think that you should go and pick up this brand and try it out. I definitely don't think you're going to be disappointed. And I definitely think that this is a brand to watch out for. All right, guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.